Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Ramawan coming to you with another lesson, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to start off by giving all the praises and the glory to Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem Rakaf Kodash. Double honors, as always, goes to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, blessings, and salutations to all the sincere Arkim out there, the hopeful elect that are doing this, you know, this uh, labor, you know, this service in the name of Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. I just wanted to get into a few quick scripts, you know, just a topic that we was getting into yesterday a bit at camp, you know, <clears throat> it's something that. You know, we should be, uh, our minds should be focused on because, you know, all around us now we can see that the the end is near, man. You know, just like them guys that used to work, used to rock those um, those signboards, you know, in the streets, the end is nigh, man. And they were right. You know, even back then they were still right because the end has always been near. And we're at that, we're at the pinnacle, man. You know, we can all feel it. You see, what you see, um, basically, the society is is crum is crumbling around us, man. Wickedness is at an all time high. You know, and Esau's plotting and scheming behind the scenes, trying to, <coughs> excuse me, trying to bring about his new world order, man. And you know, there's going to be some terrible times coming up, man, and it's being orchestrated in that way. Obviously, this is all through the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, man. This is the Lord's doing, the Lord's will. But ultimately, Esau's pulling the strings down here, you know. Um, and he's getting ready to, uh, to to make moves, man. You know, so. You know the the, the 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 topic of this video really is just you know, letting you know what's what's coming, man. Some serious, serious, uh, or the most let's put it like this: the most serious of times is on its way. All right, so I'm going to just read, you know, and comment and, and you know, break down whatever, whatever. Second Ezra 15 in the Apocrypha, you know, the hidden books that were removed from the scriptures, man. This is this is can canonical, man. No matter what anyone said, tells you the Apocrypha is canonical. It is a, it is a part of the Bible, man. All right. <coughs> so it says, um. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saying, the Lord. Yeah, <clears throat> and the Lord's people are the Israelites, man. Just to reiterate that, as always, he's not dealing with any other nations, man. Uh, I, um, what is it? Psalm 147 and 19, man. Right, and it says, uh, it says, speak thou in, in the ears of my people. In the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, and this is the words. Of, this is what it's about. It's the prophecies that are coming to pass, man. All the beginnings, you know. This is not like uh, you know. This is like um, like the, the elders said, man. This is the year that we hope the prophecies come to pass, man. And you know, I'm just paraphrasing what they said, but yeah, we're hoping that this is the year that these prophecies all come together, man. Because we want to get the hell out of here. We want to see this devil taken down. We want to see righteousness and we want to see our people, man. And we want to see Yahweh Shai coming back, man. You know? It says, uh, it says, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true, man. The scriptures, you know? It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Because we're out here on our own, man. Everybody else, you know, everybody else in this world. They don't understand what's going on, man. And you know, when we when we speak, if the spirit is not on you to, to them, we're just talking gibberish, man. You know, they don't believe what we're saying. Because we say a lot of things, man. You know, we we tell them who the devil is, the so-called white man Esau. We tell them who the Israelites are, we tell them, you know, about World War Three's coming. We tell them, you know, we talk about the chariots, we talk about the return of Yahweh Shai, we talk about the mark the the MOTB, you know. So to speak on all these things, which to these people, um, you know, they don't believe, man. Verse 4 says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. This is for the elect, man. This truth is for the elect, man. Only the elect is going to be um, saved out of this mess, right? It says, behold, 
saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. You know, the plagues doesn't necessarily mean he's talking about actual diseases, which some of the plagues are diseases, okay? But, you know, the plagues meaning, you know, terrible things, man. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, man, you know, that's that's that, that's death. You know, through the fruit. That's what, that, sorry, that's war. <coughs> Lots of killing. You know, famine, death and destruction. You know, famine, man. You know, there's places already that are that are, can't supply certain things. Simple things like eggs. I I went into the supermarket. Uh, what day was it? Friday evening. And there was absolutely no eggs on the shelf, man. None. And that's just one of the things, you know. They lie on certain things, water, types of breads. You know, so, you know, you've got to be diligent in these times as well, man. You'd be wise to start stocking up on little things you can stock up on, you know. You can only over, you can't, you know, don't over plan it, but you, you have to be diligent and be smart about things, you know. Because there's going to come a time where you ain't going to be able to just walk into the supermarket. Listen, eggs are like one of the most um, basic of um, groceries, man. Of the dairy products, man. You know, these, these they have so many of these hens in the in, you know in their cages and whatever producing billions of eggs a day. You know, or millions at least. I don't know if it's billions. Probably is billions, but millions daily all over the world, man. And it's difficult to get eggs, you know. So it's just showing these are signs. These are the signs, man. <coughs> you know, are you ready to? Are you prepared to be able to go days and days without food? You know. Maybe not even, you know, some brothers might not even be in their homes, man. You know, who knows what's going to happen in the future? You know, because jobs are starting to, jobs are going to start um being difficult. You know, where I work, I'm not going to go into the detail, but business is very slow, man. Business is very slow. You know, the bosses keep talking about how it's going to be a difficult year. They don't even know the half of it, man. There ain't no coming out of this. This is, it's, this place is going down. You know, the, the 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 return of this place is when, you know, the the Israelites are in rulership, man. When you have Shai comes back, you know, it says, "For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled." So it says, "Therefore, saith the Lord, behold." I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profit, profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me. And that, that's only the elect are doing that, man. Be it the, 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 the you know, the 144,000. You know, whether, you know, I'm not saying they're sealed or anything, but... And you've got, you know, the the you got the the remnants of our people who are trying to be righteous, man. And then they're crying continue unto the Lord, man, because this place is not for us. This is not our rest, as the scripture says, man. So we want we want out of this place. We're at the bottom, man, and and this place is just becoming more and more wicked, man. You know, it's just, it's just getting just crazy out here, man. <coughs> uh, verse 9 says and therefore saith the Lord I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them so yeah that's what we want that vengeance man you know jumping down verse to verse 14 it says woe to the world and them that dwell therein woe what's that word woe mean it means destruction man destruction it says for the sword and the for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands you know they don't have to explain what that is it's war man it says that for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions to stand in their power so there's going to be a lot of um you know a lot of rioting a lot of uproars, you know, uproars.
wars of the people, some a lot of tumultuous events, and that's why these the government in this country is pushing laws to stop people from even protesting and stuff because they know it's coming. They're not stupid because they know they're going to bring about this. Uh, they're trying to try and bring about all their their uh, this this with their wicked um, unrighteous decrees, man. People aren't going to stand for it. Yeah, so let me read that again. It says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And you know, that's already on the cards. You check out um, smart cities that they're trying to build in this country, right? Or that you know, not building brand new cities. They they're using the cities that are already standing and turning them into smart cities, meaning that everything you need, everything you will require, not desire, require, is in your is in the city you live in, man. Fifteen minutes within your within your reach. So you, basically, what's that telling you? That you don't need to go anywhere else. You so you're basically a prisoner in your own town, man. That's that's the future. That's what the, the future that they're trying to bring. That's the future that they're trying to build. They want to keep people in, in basically in stables, man. You know? You know, not to mention the fact that you're going to get martial law, laws when things really start hitting the fan. And then, you know, curfews and, you know, have, um, lines that, you you know, um, or toll booths or whatever, to try, having to give reasons and pay your own paperwork to, to cross from one place into another. You know, this man's going to come down hard, man. You know, Revelation 12 and 12, man. Everything, he's doing so many things at once. Trying to get everything under control. You know, that, that, that CBDC business is already being established, man. And it's, it's, it's already established in certain places in the world anyway. There's certain countries that are already using central bank digital currencies, man. Universal basic income is being set up in certain countries, man. What do you think is going to come out of that? You'd be a fool to not understand. It says, verse 18 says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy all their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So get ready for the common man, the normal man out there and woman to turn against you. People will turn into animals when that shit hits the fan. Alright, basically, I'm just going to say it like that. People ain't going to be playing out here, man. You know, you just think of the purge, man, and turn that up by a hundred. Because they think that they can, um, they think that you think you've seen the worst of things that they could see through the movies. No, man. In fact, near yeah. and no, but that's not that's not. Let me read this, Matthew twenty four for twenty one. Says, um, for then shall for then shall be great tribulation, right? Such as what was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. So think of all the, all the um, the bad things that have happened through the ages, man. All the wars, the world wars, you know, the the nuclear events, the uh, the events during you know during slavery, the Congo, um, you know, you can go. The list goes on, man. Especially under this devil, because this devil has wrought terror all across the world, man. Think of all the things you can possibly imagine, the worst things possible, and times it by a hundred, man, or even a thousand, man, because it, it's telling you right here, great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be, so after this, this will be it, this will be the worst event ever, so are you prepared, man, Are you pre are you spiritually and mentally prepared for that? And somewhat physically as well, man. You know? And I say that because... 
you know, the scripture says, um, physical, you know, paraphrasing it, uh, uh, bodily exercise profit 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 if little right that doesn't mean that you should just you know and i can be and, and, and i'm a victim of that mindset i have been a victim of that mindset man but it doesn't mean you should just um you know be a sloth and not take care of yourself you know because you don't know what situation you're going to be when it when it really gets bad out here man you might have to go on, on the run you know if you're a man of the lord man or if you're a person of the Lord, man, and you don't want to get caught up. And look, it's all that the will of the Lord, man. But if you're going to, you know, just, just keep yourself healthy, man. For your own safety. You know? Do your best to keep yourself safe, uh, healthy, health, healthy, man. You know? <coughs> so let me get back into this. Verse 22 says, And accept those days should be shortened. There should be no flesh saved. That's that bad, man. All right? That no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. It's because of the elect that those days are going to be shortened, man. Otherwise, it would get really bad, you know? You know, well, it's going to anyway, if you don't, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, <coughs> without the fact that the, the Lord has to deal with, save the elect, there would be nothing left. Basically, that's the point. You know? <coughs> so, yeah, man. I was going to do a quick one, you know? Just, um... Just highlighting the... What's coming, man. You know? Because there's a lot of guys out there. You look at, um... RUIC and that, you know... You know, we have to keep bringing up these other guys out there because they're not showing you what time it is, man. They're living, you know, they've, they've, they've got people getting married in their church, man, because it is a church. It ain't the time for that, man. In fact, there's a... Um... Let me get that, man. Uh... Oh, I was in that guy. I was in there anyway. What am I talking? What am I doing? Where was it? Yeah, right. <clears throat> so Matthew twenty four thirty six says, "But of that day, and hour, knoweth no man, no, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days." But as the days of no no were, so shall also the son, also, the coming of the son of man be, for as in the days that they were before, that that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And that's what them that's what a lot of these guys in these other camps are doing, man. Acting like Yahweh Shai ain't coming back. Do they really believe? Because they don't seem like it. They're not setting up their flocks, like, for what's coming, man. <coughs> you know? So it says, um... And uh, verse 39 says, And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the son of coming of the Son of Man be. You know? So, we ain't in the time for merriment. You know, we're not. In the, it's not the time of merriment and joyous occasions, man, and getting married and and having children and what you know, getting mortgages and trying to get promoted. You know, there's nothing. Look, I'm not saying if you're working hard at your workplace as you should be. If you if you're offered, you know, up the hierarchy that you shouldn't take it. That's for, That's for, That's folly. But don't look to this place as your rest and your way in the world. Anyway, man, just a quick one. Lord willing, it's edifying. And again, I'll give the praises on the Lord to Yahweh, Basham El Shai, Basham Kapadash. And uh, yeah, Lord willing, it's edifying. And shalom to the next one. Shalom.